Welcome to Books in Sum. Here go to for bite-sized book summaries. 121 First Dates by Wendy Newman Online dating has made it easier than ever for women to date and find their man. With the right mindset and the help of a few small tips, dating can be a pleasurable and exciting experience. To mentally prepare yourself before going on a first date, it is important to be able to bring yourself to a mental safe haven in case of emergency. Self-awareness is key to determining what you need and what makes you happy, and determining these desires in advance will make the contingency of dating less daunting. Knowing yourself and what you want will empower you to find happiness internally, without relying on someone else. The next step is to be sure you have an open mind before going out on a date. Online dating offers many opportunities, but it requires commitment and good self-presentation. To make it work for you, you'll need to be steadfast and present yourself well. Setting unrealistic expectations and engaging in good conversations and sharing funny or uplifting stories is the best litmus test of a date's success. When it comes to profile pictures, the natural look always wins, so post at least three photos and use a natural backdrop. Online dating can help you find singles near you, but it is not about chatting on the internet. It is important to set up a date as soon as possible and to be honest, humorous, and concise in your profile. When arranging a date, it is important to be assertive and opinionated and to offer two potential locations and let him know that you'd be open to his suggestions. The places you suggest should largely depend on how you think yourself. And your date will get on. If you think you will be able to share a conversation for an hour then suggest a dinner date. If you are unsure how you'll get on, then suggest a more public place. In order to find a committed relationship, it is important to find a partner that you're physically attracted to, but also one who makes you happy. To do this, make a unicorn list on which you write every characteristic that your ideal fantasy partner would have. Then, ask yourself if you'd rather be single than with a partner who lacks a certain quality, and use the list as a guide to check prospective matches against your desires. Embracing the differences in each person, even if they're not what you're used to, is essential to successful dating. Rejection is difficult, but it is essential to deal with it correctly. Turning people down is never easy, but it is important to be fair and tell the truth. Don't tell guys how special they are, but instead say something like, we just aren't right for each other or I had a great time but I don't see a future between us. If a guy rejects you, learn to accept it and don't blame yourself. Don't question whether or not he's telling the truth, and don't tell yourself that a guy didn't call because he's intimidated by your success. Heart healing is an exercise that can help with this, but it can only be done with someone that you trust completely and feel comfortable confiding in. The most important details in this book are that it is important to listen to yourself and pay attention to what you feel when it comes to first dates, and that it is okay to have sex on a first date if it feels right. It is also important to distract yourself with healthy physical activities, and to replace negative self-doubts with optimistic thinking. Finally, it is important not to give up on finding your soulmate. The most important details in this book are that men are not as strategic as women when it comes to sex, and that if you have sex on a first date and feel terrible about it after the fact, be open and let the guy know. Additionally, just because you're searching for a serious relationship doesn't mean you should ignore your sex life. Finally, living happily ever after is possible if you live a life that matches your needs. Stay true to the things that matter most to you, and be clear about what you value in life. The most important details in this book are that single women should not feel obligated to adhere to cultural norms and should focus on what truly makes them happy. They should also make their Facebook research analog to avoid hurt feelings and download and print their profile to look at all the pictures they want without the risk of unpleasant surprises. Online dating has opened up an entirely new realm and anyone can put themselves out there. But if it doesn't go as expected, keep their head up and don't blame yourself. We hope you found this summary helpful in your listening journey. If you're interested in diving deeper into the topic or getting your hands on the whole book, be sure to check the description below where we've included links to the book and other related products that may be useful to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest book summaries. And feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions or requests for books you'd like us to cover. Thanks again for tuning in and happy listening.